pesa zinatokanga kwa watu god gives the money to somebody and there is a way that money will circulate and reach those who are in need i pray this morning that we shall become channels of god's blessings and channels where god will deposit his blessings so that we may be a blessing to others let us not hold 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 ni kufungia hold ni kama sa ile bei bei ya bidhaa imepanda unaweka unaweka uh, no you are anticipating itapanda so unaweka unafungia uhusi alafu siku ile unangojea ile bei ya juu ndio sasa u uuze ama unachiwekea utaki ku, ku release let us not hold and if god i think realizes with that we are, we are holding his blessings hata anaweza kufunga hizo baraka sisipitie kwetu atumie mwingine sipitie kwake ndio aweze ku release kwa wengine praise the lord and there are people in the bible who are blessing to others and god used them there is this story of somebody called um, Cornelius Acts we have been reading the book of Acts at home in the evening we we came across somebody called Cornelius the bible says that this man and his family they were god fearing and they gave to the poor and the bible says is giving rich god as a memorial ili tambulika huko mbinguni kwamba kuna mtu fulani anatoa anaitwa Cornelius and yet he was not even a Jew he was Cornelius was not a Jew but we saw after that in that in that scripture that even the power of god moved in him and even he was filled by the holy spirit yet he was not a Jew so our giving brethren you know you know often when we have just talked about giving tunaongea tu kuhusu kutoa kanisani and that kind of thing and which is good which is good i i, I don't I, I i appreciate and it's equally important but more so we need to have the habit and the the the, the conviction to also give to others who are in need bwana yesu asifiwe hiyo ndio injili na hiyo ndio injili mzuri and that is how god will also bless us bwana yesu asifiwe sana and i'm not preaching to you because you don't give i am preaching to the already converted and i know you give but i just want to encourage you this morning brethren that do not die let us not tire in supporting one another and meeting and and, uh, and and be a blessing being a blessing to one another and being used to meet each other's need atuna kanisa ingine this is the church we are in and if there will be any challenges in this church it is us who will be challenged if there are any issues it is us who will be challenged and if there is anyone who will be in dire need in this church we are the ones who are responsible and we are the ones who will be asked why mbona fulani fulani tunasikia ni mshirika wa bulbul na amepatikana na shida fulani na ameumia kabisa mpaka watu wengine by the way if you do not other people will come some our need will come and i would that it will be us who will be used to support each other not someone else from outside there to come and be blessed because they have responded to that need hallelujah i have been in many whatsapps 
na sisi kama washirika kama viongozi wa kanisa we are not even, it's, it's just a, it's, it's a matter of course lazima tu as a pastor uwe kwa whatsapp na lazima ujanga in fact i have now decided that at the every month they must because it's, it will come na ni sai i sit aisha of course i'm not saying we give beyond what we are able to Mia mbili, mia tano, elfu moja, elfu mbili, whatever you are able to give. But I have now decided, and it has now become part of my budget, that this man, I anticipate that there will be needs of brethren, and I just have to give. They will not, we will not be asked. Tutakuwa tu pale, na tutatoa. Praise the Lord. I've been, of course, in several WhatsApps, and I still, I'm, I mean, so I'm even right now as I speak, I'm in many, and I know you are in many. But brethren, to sikuje to kaona, this is a bother. If as much as God will enable us, as much as God will bless us, as much as God will bless us. He blesses us so that we may abound in every good work. Oh, my brother, buddy. You know, I always like using buddy. Buddy, God has blessed you and he will continue blessing you for yourself. But not only for yourself, but so that he may use you to be a blessing to others. And as, you, as he continues to bless you, and as you continue being a blessing to others, that's, that's, the, that's the pattern. He blesses you more, you continue being a blessing more to others. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the vehicles that we have in this church. I remember when, when, we, were, when we were a small church, smaller church, and we had only three, four vehicles. Isi magari tulifika wakati tukasema isi magari ni za kanisa. Isi magari ni zetu lakini ni pia ni za <laughs> Masishi. Wapi kari ya solo? Wapi kari ya rotich? Wapi kari ya mulatia? Wapi kari ya pastor mwetu weekend mafuta? Harusi. Otoni, na ito Otoni, eh? Whatever it is. <laughs> Mesema wrongly. Hallelujah! Umeparikiwa, ndiyo uwe paraka kwa mwenzako. welfare. That is where the rubber meets the road. Kama wezi kushukulikia na wezi kwa baraka kwa mungine, basi ukresto ni nini? Unaona tu maitaji hapa wewe unaasa tu kuomba, kuongea kwa ndimi, lakini hakuna kitu umefanya kusaidia mtu I like the people from my village. They are very straightforward. Our direct. If oh, umebarikiwa eh, umetoka rainrobi eh, ukona kazi mzuri eh, unaenda shagari. Nipe sangu. Nipe 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 sangu ni niende. Nipe sangu. So umebarikiwa. So what? Mina taka za. Okay, sema umebarikiwa, umlaendelea, he, unaendesha kari mzuri, we ukona utoka. So what? We want to see how you can be a blessing, an answered prayer to somebody. How you can put a smile on somebody's face. That is what it means to be blessed, brethren. Nipe sangu, nipe tu, nipe. 
So I've made an habit and it's now a must for me. Nikienda lasma nikuwe na 50, 100, 200, sipiani 1,000. Nukipiani 1,000, sasa nitaliba nini na school fees. Nakuwe kakari mafuta. Nipe sangu. It's not, it's not a negotiation. So be parikiwa, nipe sangu. And people will have, some people have argued that, oh, sasa umewapatia wataenda kunyo pombe, nini, nini. That's not for me. As long as I have made that person happy, na nime, nime, nime pariki, it is what, mat, what matters for me and what makes my day. Praise the Lord. So I'm talking, I was talking about WhatsApp. You know that medium? You know it has now, we used to meet in CQICC, CQWAP, and now there's nobody who will meet anywhere. Just meet in WhatsApp. So I, 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 I was in a WhatsApp just the other day, and I saw it and I was so happy. I was so excited. I was so happy. I didn't, I didn't make any comment in that WhatsApp, but I just saw what was happening, and I said, hmm, these are Christians. These are good people. These are wonderful, great people who know God. I will not say what the, what the name of the WhatsApp, the group, and the, and, the, and the particulars. But I saw that WhatsApp. And, and the person who approached me to enter that WhatsApp told me, Rotish, you know, we have been told in church that whatever is private, let it be private, and whatever WhatsApp you have is private and for yourself. And whatever you want, money you want to raise, you are raising it for yourself and do not make it like it's a church matter. I listened to her and they said, okay. But when I went to that WhatsApp, I found that most of the people who are in that WhatsApp were, in fact, church members. <laughs> because, you know, you know, the thing is, eh, if you are a member of Bull Bull, it follows naturally that your friends and your people and the people you need you, you you interact with and who, whom you need to, for you to for, for for them to come to your whatever need you still find even if it's not official that we are still the same people because i, I always when i go to WhatsApp, naona solo yuko hapo naona cheka tu it was not official but we are still there but i, I, I like the spirit and the the, the, the lady or the person Wanted to raise some money for fees. Ordinarily, as a church, we don't we don't raise fees. But I mean, as Christians, when there is a need, you will you we should be able to help as much as we can. And I like the spirit in that WhatsApp. Like that's WhatsApp. They wanted eighty thousand shillings, but they got one hundred and ten thousand shillings, and there were yet some pledges which were to be paid. Iyo ni upendo, wapendo. Seme ni upendo. Seme ni upendo. And that is what should be our spirit in this church, in our fellowships. Nimekuwa kwa WhatsApp nyingi. Oh, nimetoa nyingi. Oh, sichauliswa hata. Oh. God will bless you more so that you may abound at all times. <laughs> In every good Work. Hallelujah. <laughs> Kwaani mshara imesimamishwa? Kwaani sasa kutoa, yani mambo ya upati tena pesa ingine? You continue hanging and you continue giving. Hallelujah. I miss Karsen. I really miss, I'm yet to adjust to, to, to Nairobi lifestyle. In fact, I, I, I promised, by the way, that I'll be coming for, for, 
for lunch. And immediately after this service, I'm going back to the house. And I used to, you know, push people. We need to do this. We need to do that. Who is late? Who is not there? And, but they used to tell me one thing. Welfare. Mukubwa. Boss. Welfare. We need welfare. And once there is welfare, you will not push us. Uta kuta tu fitu simefanyi? Semeni welfare. <laughs> Semeni welfare. Welfare booze. Welfare. And what we used to do, hata ni mekonda hii Nairobi. Hata ni mekonda. Ni mekungusa wa usito. We used to buy goats. And we used to take lunch every day. Na mbuzi tulikuwa tunanunua. Bozo tununulia mbuzi. Mbuzi ni pesa ngapi elfu sita? Na mbuzi we are eating and we used to have a fridge. So, tukinchinja mbuzi, matumbo, nini, kila kitu. Weka kwa fridge for that week. Tunakula nyama. Next week, next month, nani ananunua mbuzi? Ah, Fila kasi itachapwa kwa hiyo office. Eh? Welfare, brethren. Welfare. Evangelism. We shall have evangelism. We shall have revivals. We shall have welfare. Welfare. Mtu haesi kucha kwa revival wakati nyumba anafungiwa. Mtu haesi kucha kwa revival na evangelism na haesi okoka wakati ajakula. The easiest way to evangelize is to pray God that we may abound in good works. Hallelujah. Mm. We need to be sensitive, brethren, on the welfare of each other. How is so and so doing? You know, you know, mutu akifukuswa nyumba, as much as we will not be able to pay rents for people, na huyo mshirika ni wabul. All of us are still responsible. All of us are still accountable. And that's why I've come to church here. Nimekuja hapa kanisa, ndio niparikiwa kwa hii kanisa. Na baraka zangu sitatoka kwako, na baraka zangu sitatoka What did I say? <laughs> baraka zako sitatoka kwa Eh, hey, hebu nisaidie Kiswahili sasa nimesahau. Baraka zako sitatoka kwangu na baraka zangu sitatoka kwako haleluya mm. that's the gospel you are here to be a blessing to me and i'm here to be a blessing to you that's why god has brought us together in this church there are many churches So many money, ni kasi tu. Unaingia asubuhi, unachukua files yako, unaingia kwa kompyuta yako, unafunga kwa ofisi, unatoka, unafika kwako, unaendelea na kasi, unalala, unaamuka. Unangojea kulipo mshara mwisho wa mwezi na ulipwe baada ya kufanya kazi. No welfare. No mbusi. Nothing. Wait for your salary. He, nitarute karseri. Do you want a revived church? Do you want a strong church? Do you want a happy church? Welfare. Say many welfare. Say many welfare. 
nafanya kesi za watu hawajalipa rent wanafukuzwa kwa nyumba na auction and there are so many Now one of my friends here I don't want to mention his name pia ana deal na mambo ya manyumba I mean it's, it's painful it's tough Can I do something Can I give somebody 100 shillings Can I give somebody 200 shillings Can I give somebody 100 And by the way, I'm not talking about hundreds of thousands of shillings. I'm talking about a hundred pop. Hundred pop can make a difference in somebody's life. Unga ni ni pesa ngapi? 220. Buy a, a basket of unga and say, ndugu nimeamua tu kukubariki na hii kamfuko ka unga. Hiyo ndio Ukristo. And that is why even as we wait for the Supreme Court ruling tomorrow, Whichever, whatever happens to the leadership of this country and whatever, whoever will lead this country the campaigns have been based on one thing welfare wa kenya wana mahitaji and that's why one of the countries was saying he will pay us no he will pay those who are in need 6000 kenya shillings ngoko tumea kwanza kwanza na mwingine alikuwa anasema aslas fun bottom up because of welfare even the politicians have realized that people need to be provided for people need their welfare needs to be to be catered for wacha na mambo ya maendeleo kwanza wacha na mambo ya barabara wacha na whatever welfare hallelujah that we may abow in every good work two, 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 two weeks ago i was from, with a friend of mine from a uh, home a pastor and i'm so proud so proud of that young man because we have grown with him he's my younger my young brother my friend i got saved before him he got saved later we have grown together he has become a pastor in the IC church and he was going to the united states to do masters in theology and what he told me actually he came to my house with his wife and what he told me shocked me he said You know God has blessed me I don't even know what to say I am just confused I don't know what to do I'm just I'm just for of a well because there are some people in the US who have I just got connected to them through uh Facebook and that thing and they just loved me and they just connected with me and now they are taking me to the US uh Trinity is it Trinity University to do theology my fees there is 12 million they are paying for me all my fees for 12 million and um they are giving me accommodation they are also giving me a job they are um they are paying for for my for my for my house they are paying my for my food my house the, the house they are paying me for me is uh, uh like a million per year very expensive you must very expensive but then he told me something he told me you know you know god god is a god of miracles and is a god who is real i have been doing things there at home which now i'm seeing 
the reason why God has answered this prayer. He said, in my church, he has a small church, which is just started recently. He said, in that church, when there is a member who is sick, I don't wait for the member to decide what to do. I take up the matter myself. And I decide to take up the matter to take them to hospital. And I, when I go to the hospital, I'm the one who is talking with the doctor. I am the one, if there's any money to be raised, I am the one who does the fundraising. I am the one who negotiates the bill. I am the one who goes and guarantees the bill. And he was telling me something that it passed, uh, doctors get shocked. That there's somebody who is not sick and who's a member of his family is not sick and is the one taking responsibility over the sick person. So he goes to the hospital, he negotiates the bill, he asks the doctors to waive some of the... And the doctors actually he was telling me, one doctor said, my friend, I am tight. You, you are just a pastor and you are taking care of this person. You are not going to pay. And that is one member. Another member gets sick. He takes up the issue personally himself. So he says, I am now starting to know that whatever I was doing that God. Since we are we are very and, and Christians. Let me not talk about preachers only. We have to tafika pale hospitali tutaomba. Na mtu atapona. Eh lakini mambo ya pili eh eh I know I'm preaching a message which is not easy. But it is easy. Considering that I'm not asking you to give 10,000. Okay? I'm just asking you to give even a thousand. Even a 500. So that friend of mine is now in the US. People are, I was telling me now, I am I don't know what to do because there are even other people who, want, who wanted to help. I feel like resigning and also going to the U.S. to do theology. God moves through our generosity and our welfare and our us being used to be a blessing to God's people. Who say ignore your WhatsApp? You need to do my There is a job I've applied. And I've been shortlisted. I'm just praying and trusting God. Kuna ma professor, kuna ma taktari. Eh? What wame soma? Masters. I, what wakuna CVs? I have worked here. I have done this. People, papers, makaratazi, masomo. I have this masters. I have this PhD, they are professors and they want, what want to compete? Come on, papers, what want to compete for your cast? But now there's something very tricky which the employers are asking and in big jobs. What have you given back to the society? Can you write? Can you give? What have you done? Now that's the criteria. Kila muda mesoma. And you see what you give back to the society in onyesha kwa undani what kind of person you are. So I was struggling. What have I done in Bulbul now? Nafukiri nilipia mutu fis. Na nimeweka hapo ndani. Nafukiri kuna kuna ule mama alikuwa amekosa rent. Tukamchangia. Weka hapo ndani. Nafukiri tulienda prison. Na tukanunua fitu and I used my own money. Weka hapo ndani. But I realized I need to do more. 
the kind of person you are is determined by what you are able to do to give back to the society. It is not enough to succeed. It is not enough to be blessed. They are looking for that person with a good heart. Somebody who cares about other people. So, unatafuta kazi. Ukipata kazi, utasaidia nani? Kwa hiyo kazi uko nayo, kabla hutapata kazi nyingine kubwa, umesaidia nani? God is looking for channels so that he may channel his blessings. through us. The temple in the books of I, I, I will, I'll get for you the scripture one day. But in the times of the Old Testament when the temple was constructed the temple of God it used to be a very rich place. There used, there used to be a place called the treasury and where the Israelites would give and deposit a lot of resources and wealth and properties and okay that time it was about uh, depositing uh, precious uh, whatever um, minerals called what and they would deposit in the treasury and they would give and there was this, this, uh, this, I'm not able to locate now. There was this time people, the Israelites gave until Moses Akawambia Apana Musito etena ime tosha Ah ah, ah ah ah, rudisheni iso vitu nyumbani Sasa ime ja The house of God is supposed to be a rich place Hallelujah it's supposed to be a place where there are resources. People can get help. Praise the Lord. I will advise Pastor Mweti that the giving we only give during Christmas is not enough. Why during Christmas only? There should be a casmoka a store somewhere. Kwa nyuma ya ofisi, akuna store kwa ofisi ya pastor mweti. A store somewhere in the church. Where akuna kaunga, ukilemewa kabisa. Shika, kesho utakuwa? Umeshikilia. There should be more. There should be not be only during Christmas. It should be more. Na tuzizema tuweze tunaweza. We are rich. We are blessed. And when we start, God now will provide. You see, you see God provides the blessings when the opportunity is there. When the opportunity for us to give is open, God now gives the blessing. That scripture says that you may meet your own needs. You will meet your own needs and also abound in good works. Why am I preaching so hard today? The Bible says in the book of Colossians chapter 6 verse 9, to not tire in doing good. Let, 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 to, to that scripture is very interesting. I read it this morning and I found it to be very, very interesting. Because eh? kuna vile inachirudia. Eh? Na kitu kama inachirudia, inaonyesha, ina emphasis. Eh? Can somebody read for me uh, Colossians chapter 6, verse 9. Mutu tu watu nisomea. 
Kuna vile hiyo scripture inajirudia, inajirudia mara mbili. Yes. Let us not be weary in doing good. For at a proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So inaanza kusema let us not be weary. Tusichoke. Alafu huko mwisho tena inasema if we do not give up. Inakwambia kwanza tusichoke. Alafu inakwambia do not give up. Okay? inye na kirudia mara mbili nakwambia kwanza usichoke ikianza alafu ina badala baada ya kumaliza the sentence inasema if we do not give up there is a tendency for us to get tired it's human and for us to give up ah nimetoa ah tumetoa ah kwa ile kwa ile kwa ile prewedding tumetoa ah na hata ile 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 love offering tulitoa siku ile. Ah, na hata ile mchango tulitoa. Ah, na kwa hii kanisa michango haiwezi haiwezi tosha. Ah, haiwezi kuisha. Ah, angalia ile WhatsApp nyingine. Angalia ume... ah, hii WhatsApp zimenitosha. Let us not give up. Let us not be weary because the more you are fail yourself the more god will release blessing to us to you mungu haizi kukuta kutoa mungu haizi kulipa bill ya hospitali haizi ngoje mungu anakuja ama you people i think me i'm not spiritual kuna mahali pesa ime drop mahali ndio ndio ilipwe bill ndio isaidie mtu kunayo it is people who are used by God to meet that need. Now, if, you, if we are not used in this church somewhere else, people will be used and they will meet that need. Kukuyao, kukuwao. Ama makuku. We have eaten their chicken. We have eaten their goats. We have eaten their ndumas. And we do not forget them. Because they, are, they, 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 they bless us. They touch us. They minister to our needs. They have encouraged us. Hmm? As a small child somewhere in the hills, somewhere hidden, somewhere, but they knew the truth of the word of god and how to be a blessing to others how have you been a blessing can we aspire to abound in good works i know the spiritual people will tell me the very ah, by by we are not saved by good works but we are saved by the grace by the grace of God it's not by good works it is true we are not saved by good works but I will make another statement that we are blessed by good works you want to be blessed you want to abound Allow yourself to be a channel of God's blessings. Praise the Lord. There was a brother called Barnabas in the Bible. Barnabas is not as famous as Paul. He was not as famous as John. He didn't write any book. But this was a great man 
who made sure every time he was available to encourage the people of God. Son of encouragement. He was the one who encouraged Paul. But there are people behind the scenes. You will know them. You will not know them. By the way, welfare. So many welfare. <laughs> so many welfare. Hey. Whoever. Oh, I don't know. And I don't want to know. Whoever thought about that and whatever, whoever, whoever, whoever spent his money, that is the spirit. That is what I am talking about. Welfare. I'm not talking about complicated things. I'm not talking about thousands of things. I'm just talking about seeing a small need and meeting that need. Ebu jaribu kununulia mutu lunch next week. Say, I want just to be good to somebody this week. I just want to be kind. Utashanga vile utaona, utakundua uyo mtu kumbe meno ingina hana uku. Imetoka. Kana smile. Ha ya. Ha ya ya. Ana smile haki kula. Ana kula haki onge. Because I'm a furai. Welfare. Even in our families. I was I not talking about Kimoini right now? Sini kwa nangeju ya Kimoini? Pigea makofi. Inaonyesha ro, pastor I was just talking about Kimoini now. And I will talk about it in the second service. So wait. Na usi ulise ni meongea nini? What was I saying? Welfare. Nunulia mtu lunch. Even in our families, yo, I was talking about families. Why do families break? Why do fam I also break? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do so many bad cases about families. She does see pesa. Okay? She does see whatever you, you think about. She does need welfare, care, love. Concern. Hmm? Mutu anaingia anatoka. Mutu anaingia anatoka. Ana, hakuna shukuli. Kila mutu anafanya mambo ya? You have money but you are not happy. You have not discovered the importance of welfare. Kufikiria huyo mutu anaitaji nini. Anataka nini. Na kushukulikia hiyo itaji. Ambayo mara nyingi aikuangi itaji kubwa. Let us be a church who is sensitive, who cares about one another's welfare, and who I, who, and we allow ourselves to be used by God to be a blessing to somebody, to be a blessing to one another, to be a blessing to a brother, to be a blessing to a sister, to be a blessing. To a family, to be a blessing to a Kenyan, to be a blessing to an old man, to be a blessing to an old lady. And by the way, sometimes it doesn't even have to be only money. It can be even in form of kind. Unahamua tu ha, wacha ni saidi mtu fulani kwa jambo fulani na una una kuwa baraka. I understand there are some brethren somewhere who formed a habit of just being a blessing to one another. Wanakucha kwako, wanangalia, what do we need to do here? What do we need to replace? Alafu wana nyamasa. Next time they come back, alafu wanakuta wametoyo kitu ilikuwa mbaya, Please kindly allow us to remove this thing and we are replacing it with this one. And then they remove it and they replace it and then say, God bless you brother. 
by Sheol. Those are people who know what uh, this faith is about. This faith is about being a blessing to one another, being instruments of God's love. The Bible says love. The three things, but love is the most important. Tukisema mambo mengi na hakuna kitu tunafanya, hakuna upendo tunaonyesha, and we will just keep saying, I, I, I am this, I am that, I drive this car, I do this. But what have you helped? Umeasaidia nani sasa? If God, I believe, if God knows that so and so is able to be a blessing to somebody, that person God will bless so that you may be an instrument of God's love and God's blessings. Let, let, me, let me just talk about intercessory team. And I, I talk about it very proudly. Sometimes I'm proud. A bit. And for a good reason. Let me just talk about the intercessory team. Sometime this year, one of us said he's going on retirement. And as a team, we said, Apana, at least you could to Mutu Amenda, and I evil. And we raised money and we sent off that lady. I have never felt happy in my life. I have never felt happy. Just to be a blessing to somebody. He said, I'm moving to my place. I'm going on retirement. But we said, you, you are our sister. And I'm talking about the intercessory team. So, we are not just praying. Atuchufungitu kwa nyumba. Tukiomba, tukiomba, tukiomba kila siku. Ama kwa, kwa, kwa whatever, attending cashiers and praying. We are also instruments of God's love. And God's peak as my coffee team here intercessory. And I know you are doing many other things in other teams and in other fellowships. I would that in our fellowships, even in our home fellowships, we become a blessing to one another. We are sensitive to one another's needs. We become a family. We have family days. We care about one another. We share as the early church did. And I'm telling you, there will be great revival in this church. Now, people are saying, now what will you get kwa ilo kanisa? The message will go. Kanisa ya bulbul, uki wana shida. Uku ndi wana saidianga watu. Uki wana, uki wana, uki wana unaoleka. Uko wata kuchangia. Ukiwa na ishida, uko ndio wata kusaidia. Ukiwa na hii, those people are good, wata kuchangia. Ukiwa na ishida, and I'm telling you, people will fill this church. This church, there will be no space because people have needs. And it is only me and you that God desires to use so that we can meet our needs. I have occasionally been, some people have occasionally talked to me, oh, Brother Rotich, I, I don't, I have formed, I have made it a policy. I do not lend money. I don't. Because I don't want to start Kudai. Oh, no, 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 sister, I pale. I don't know how to do No, I, as a matter of fact, and as a matter of police, I do not loan any money. Unless somebody, I don't know, very close. So I will make sure I give little, of course. Little. But I give I give Lakini, nime kupatia hundred shillings. Lakini, brother, my brother, Friday before five, unirudishie yo pesa yangu. 
na usiponi rudisia utajua ujui <laughs> aleluya nasikia mm. poa i want to be a blessing i pray god that i may i may be blessed so that i may have for my need and that i may abound in every good work hallelujah nataka tusome hiyo scripture nataka i want us to najua time imeisha can can somebody project that scripture as second corinthians chapter 9 first first eight i want us to read it all together and god tusome pamoja and god is able to bless me aya aya tu tu sasa and god is able to bless me abundantly so that in all things at all times having all that i need i will abound in every good work uh, let's go again and god is able to bless me abundantly so that in all things at all times having all that i need i will abound in every good work pick up one of my that is my prayer this morning and that is your that i pray is your prayer this morning tusimame wapendwa and god is able to bless me abundantly so that i may be able to cater for my needs at all times in every way and that i may abound in good work let us pray Father in the in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we thank you for your word O oh God we thank you Lord that Father you have stated in your word that you are able to abundantly bless us so that we may prof, we may take care of our needs and so that at all times and in every manner we may be able to abound in good works O oh Father Lord if we have been stingy if we have not released the blessings that you have given us as you desire us to do and that that has stopped us from getting more blessing from you how i pray over god that this morning that you may help us to have a revelation of your word so that god we may continue uh, being uh, doing good works and so that god you may bless us your word is true your word is alive and your word works power and miracles in us how i pray over god that we may be instruments to release your blessing where we are called upon to act when there is a need how i pray over father that god you may convict us and help us to understand the importance of giving and being a blessing to one another so that you may also bless us as we give lord you will bless us you give us double measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men put onto our lap god help us to give help us to release the blessings that you have put in us and to be a blessing and to be an answer to the needs of each other we thank you father we bless you we honor you as we pray for our country Jehovah god father we thank you because you are in control let your will be done concerning the leadership of this country and let the leaders we have elected and those that who will uh, take over the leadership of this country mind about the welfare 
of the people of this country and aspire to help us to meet our daily needs. For in the name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. Going to lead us as we intercede for various issues. So if you are not hurry, tarry around even as we pray. God bless you. For those who are going, may the Lord bless you. Have a blessed week ahead. God bless you. Kwa nerema, kwa yo imani